Hey Aussies, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe. I really want to hit 200 subscribers before I leave for training. So if you could just hit the subscribe button, it would mean the world to me. And I just wanted to say hello to all my new subbies out there. Um, thank you so much for following. Today I wanted to announce where I got based with my airline. Um, if you didn't know, I just got hired as a flight attendant last week. And I'm really excited to start this journey. So... I got based in Chicago! Yeah! Um, so yeah, I will be going to Chicago, Illinois right after training and I will be at training for a month which is in Fort Lauderdale, Florida and then I have to be in Chicago by like September 1st so I'm very excited. So Dallas was my first choice but now I'm much happier that I picked Chicago um, as my second choice and that I got that because I only have to drive my car four hours from Detroit and if I need to make like two trips to get my stuff over there into a storage unit it will be very easy to just drive one time drop it off and come back and then only have to drive one more time so with that being said I will be getting rid of every single thing I own still getting rid of my house my bed my dressers all my clothing i'll still be getting rid of everything because i'll be living in a crash pad in chicago if you don't know what that is that is basically a dorm style living for flight attendants sometimes it's a house an apartment they have hotel crash pads so i don't know kind of where i'm going to be staying yet but it will definitely be a bunk bed for 200 dollars a month so we're saving some money here i am very excited to move and experience chicago and it's gonna be really different. I know Detroit and Chicago are pretty close together, but I don't think that they're similar in terms of living at all. And I wanted to share some of my like predictions or expectations of Chicago. I really think that the public transit is gonna be a life changer. Um, I know their public transportation system is like one of the best in the entire world, so I'm really excited to experience that. I probably won't even need my car, but because it's almost paid off, I'm not gonna be selling it. I'll be bringing it with me and probably finding like long-term parking for it because I'll never need it. I'll be from the crash pad to the airport. There's probably public transit or I can just jump on the train when I'm going downtown, obviously, I probably won't need my car like ever, but I'm going to be bringing it to Chicago. Um, I also think the thrift shopping is gonna be amazing there. I hear really good things and I'm really excited about that. <sighs> In terms of the weather, winter is just gonna kill me if I'm still there. I'm not sure, it's all crazy. I don't really know what's going on right now. I'm going to Chicago for now and we'll see what happens then. I think there's like way more to do in Chicago than Detroit. Even like the downtown area where the locals don't really go in Chicago um, is still more exciting than downtown Detroit, if that makes sense. And everyone's like, why didn't you pick Detroit? I'm like, I wanna get out of here. Like I wanna experience something new. I'm so sick of Michigan. I hate Michigan so much and I'm just ready to go. I need to go. Um, the only thing I'm really sad about is my cat will be going to Idaho to live with my parents on the military base. So I'm gonna miss her and I really hope she does okay without me. She has like extreme anxiety, so I just don't know how she's gonna be and I'm really scared, but we're gonna get her on some medication and we're gonna hope that she does okay. My mom is actually coming into town later today. I'm so excited. She's gonna help me move and pack and sell things and there's so much to do and like I leave in like two and a half weeks, so I really need her. So she's flying in from Idaho and she'll be here later and I'm really excited to see her. I haven't seen her in a long time. So yeah, right now I'm actually looking for my training uniform. We have to wear either a yellow or blue black polo with khakis or black dress pants a belt and like leather loafers or some dress shoe like that and I cannot find a polo like I'm looking for just like two yellow polos um and I the ones I found at Kohl's I look like Spongebob they were like the ugliest yellow like ugly mustard yellow I just wanted like a light pastel cute yellow so I'm gonna check this kid's uniform shop behind me called Rainbow <laughs> I'm just looking for two yellow polos like how hard is it and I don't really have a lot of time to order online and then if it doesn't fit and I still have to buy luggage I'm just gonna vlog kind of the rest of the day and then I do want to show you what my packing situation is looking like at home so I'll take a short video of that later you guys are gonna be absolutely shocked at how many clothes I was able to get rid of they're just in a pile in the dining room but it is like one third of my clothing and it's crazy how much how many bags there are so so yeah, let's go see if we can find a yellow polo really quick. The store is literally falling apart. It is so ratchet. Okay, there's just no hook. Uh, seat is broken. Please don't sit. Okay then. Let's try on these shirts. 
Um, I mean, minus the black bra, I guess it'll work. I'm very stoked because I found two yellow polos. Perfect. And they're like the moisture wicking kind. And the lady only charged me $3 a piece for these polos. And she was just like, did you get those on the $3 rack? And I was like, no. And she was like, okay, I'm going to give them to you for $3 anyway. Packing up my lighting kit so you guys might not be getting the best lighting until I go to training. Sorry. It is now raining. And it feels so much cooler out here because I don't have air conditioning at my house. So I'm just dying. You guys, this is just a fraction of the boxes that I used for eBay. Oh my goodness, that's recy that's all recycle. I'm so happy it can be recycled, but I just can't believe like how much stuff I have for eBay and Poshmark. So, <sighs> it's a lot. Out of literally nowhere, it just started like flash flooding. Oh my. This is everything that I've gathered so far and it's only about half of my clothing. So I cannot believe I have this much stuff. Um, but yeah, I've just been organizing my other stuff into tubs by category. Cause I'll probably put these in the storage unit, all my winter clothes, dresses, work clothes, tank tops and t-shirts. We have done so much moving and now we are taking a break to eat.